In 2005, I wrote a book called Yanagi about the secret wartime trade between Nazi Germany and Imperial Japan. While researching this book, which dealt mostly with U boats and aircraft technology, I came across references to the Japanese purchasing a Tiger I tank in 1943. It puzzled me. How on earth could such a huge vehicle be shipped to Japan at that time when the Allies controlled the sea lanes? Then this tantalizing photograph surfaced of Japanese officers in a Tiger tank. So, what's the truth behind this intriguing story? Did Japan have Tiger tanks in World War II? The answer is both yes and no. Yes, in that the Japanese definitely owned several German tanks, but no, in that none ever reached the land of the rising sun. After Japan entered World War II in December 1941, cooperation was sought with its Axis partners, Germany and Italy. The Japanese wanted examples of high tech weapons and licenses to manufacture them, and Germany led the world in this field. In return, the Germans needed certain raw materials that they couldn't source easily in Europe, in particular rubber, which the Japanese had in plentiful supply after conquering British Malaya in early 1942. The two allies were never close, the Japanese in particular having a distrust of all non Japanese, and they didn't cooperate in military missions against the allies. But from a military trade perspective, cordial relations were maintained. Initially, the Germans and Japanese used surface cargo ships called blockade runners to transfer materials between Europe and the Far East and vice versa. But these vessels eventually became easy prey for Allied warships and aircraft. The solution, therefore, was to send material by submarine. In this, the Japanese had an advantage over the Germans, possessing some very large submarines capable of trips to Europe without refueling, whereas the largest U boats, the Type 9s, still required at sea refueling to reach Japan. Occasionally, German and Japanese submarines met halfway in the Indian Ocean but couldn't transfer much. Japanese submarines visited the French Atlantic U boat bases, and the Germans even established a U boat base in Indonesia to make journeys easier and facilitate convoy hunting in the Indian Ocean. The Japanese received all sorts of goodies via the Yanagi trade, including disassembled German jet fighters, a V 1 flying bomb, and all sorts of anti aircraft guns, radars, and bombs. Some of this technology was later copied under license in Japan or contributed to Japanese designs. Hitler even gifted the Imperial Japanese Navy a couple of U boats. But the Imperial Japanese Army was interested in German tanks, amongst many other weapons. Japanese tanks were small, lightweight, and under gun compared to the Sherman and Lee tanks the Americans and British were deploying against them in the Pacific and Burma. Did the answer lie in the much beefier German designs that could cope better with Allied armor? The Japanese decided to find out for themselves. The Japanese ambassador to Berlin, General Hiroshi Oshima, spoke to the German Foreign Office, who arranged a visit to the Kummersdorf Tank Testing Center. He was shown the Tiger I at the Henschel plant. General Oshima was mightily impressed by what he saw at Kummersdorf. The Japanese military moved to purchase several brand new German tanks. A delegation of 12 Japanese officers, led by Colonel Ishide of the Tank Corps, was sent to advise on the purchase and then examine and test the vehicles. The first consideration was price. A brand new Tiger I retailed at 300,000 Reichsmarks in 1943. But the Nazi armaments ministry and Henschel requested 645,000 Reichsmarks from the Japanese. Were the Germans deliberately ripping off their allies? Not quite, for the Tiger I came complete with all optics, ammunition, and radio fitted, plus the Germans would disassemble and pack the tank ready for shipment to Japan, and also include technical documentation to enable the Japanese to manufacture elements of the design under license. As well as buying a Tiger I, Colonel Ishide's delegation purchased a Panther and two variants of the Panzer III, the Model N and J. Ishide and the Japanese officers spent one month testing the tanks at Kummersdorf. It must be remembered that at this point, the four tanks were the property of the Imperial Japanese Army, and they, along with the 12 officers, were effectively the only Japanese unit to serve on the Western Front during World War II, though of course in a non combatant role. At the conclusion of the test period, the Tiger was, as per the contract, prepared for shipment to Japan. 
The problem was the new I-400 class giant Japanese submarines were not yet finished and though much bigger than U-boats, the existing Japanese fleet submarines would have had difficulty transporting the Tiger's 30-ton hull, not to mention the Krupp turret and other disassembled equipment. For the time being, the Tiger, along with the Panther and the Panzer III's, remained in storage in Bordeaux, France, until the Japanese could arrange shipment. But then the Allies landed in Normandy in June 1944. The Germans needed every tank they could get their hands on, and with the Japanese unable to ship the tanks, the Germans wanted them back. The Germans either partially or fully refunded the Japanese, or they leased the Tiger and other Panzers from the Japanese. Either way, the vehicles were handed over to operational units. The Japanese Tiger tank was lost in action, probably on the Western Front. But the brief ownership by the Japanese did prove useful. The Japanese began the process of constructing bigger, better armed and armoured tanks, including the Type 5 Chiri design. Fortunately for the Allies, these heavy Japanese tanks never got beyond a few test units that were captured when Japan surrendered. Whether a tank like the Tiger I would have been suitable for combat in the Asia-Pacific theatre remains debatable, but the fact that the Japanese were prepared to purchase and ship an example home showed an intention to emulate their German allies by radically modernizing their antiquated tank designs. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and share and help support my channel at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.